Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode uh, 40 of the Black Sun Syndicate Squadron Shootout. In this episode, we've got the the Argonauts by Nobodix going up against Bloody Waters by Cruz... Cruz Hepber... I can't say her name, that's why I shortened it to Cruz. <laughs> anyway, this is a... We're back up in the primary bracket. This is round three here. So, uh... This is the battle we're on right here. Whoever loses here is going to come down to uh, right here and going to face Fleet Obscure to Spy Obscure. All right, let's go ahead and get round one of this battle underway and see who that's going to be. And hopefully things don't lag too hard. The Argonauts tend to be one of the ones that uh, makes things a little bit slow. Because, yeah, look at all those shots. Look at all that shell spam. <laughs> So far, the uh, the flagship of the bloody of the bloody waters fleet is taking it, but it is losing health rather fast. It's already down to 90%. That uh, storm of shells is definitely nothing to shake a stick at. Oh, pop the turret! I don't think the Bloody Mary is going to be able to stand up to that for too long. Everything seems to be running smoothly enough. The, uh, the changes I made seems to to have uh, helped out with the frame rate issues we experienced in the early parts of the tournament. Somewhat. Well, not the frame rate issues so much as the, the speed of the battles issues. The frame rate's still kind of bad, but... At least it's watchable enough to where I won't have to speed up the battle artificially just so that it it plays out within a decent time frame. <laughs> Anyway, back to the battle itself. The Argonauts not taking much in the way of damage. They're, uh... They're just doing their thing, bobbing along. Not really getting hit much. Whereas the Bloody Mary is getting absolutely torn apart. Blocks are just cascading off of it. down to 73%, but uh, it is managing to stay... Are those torpedoes heading for the Bloody Mary from this direction? Where'd those come from? I think... Did it just get torpedoed by a, a friendly? No, that's a, that's a turret falling off. I have no idea where those torpedoes came from. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the Argonauts have taken some damage here and there, but nowhere near as much as the Bloody Waters have. They're getting absolutely shredded by this storm of uh, APS fire. The, oh, one of the Argonauts may have just taken a big hit. It looked like it. It looks like it is losing altitude faster. Uh, it was. No, it looks like it caught itself. Maybe I just caught it coming in right as it was dropping in its bob movement. It looked like it was falling. Yeah, the Bloody Mary is uh, badly damaged. Oh, not 80% in sinking. So the, the Bloody Mary is uh, going to despawn here.
taken out. The Bloody Mary is despawning, the Sentinel is despawning. Yep, that looks like it is it for the Bloody Waters fleet. They have been defeated by the, uh... Yep, that is it. They have been defeated by the Argonauts here in round one. Let's go ahead and get this restarted. Okay, and get round two underway. Here we go. Now, that was another, uh, that was a pretty dominant victory, just like the previous episode. The, uh, the Argonauts have a very, very strong firepower. And uh, they're a little, the airships are a little difficult to hit because of the bobbing motion. Still entirely possible, they aren't gonna dodge every shell. And they seem to be a little bit on the fragile side when they do take hits, because they don't take very many, but they lose a good chunk of hit points. But they keep going, despite that. Or I could be entirely wrong. It just, it seems like they lose hit points easily when they do get hit. They just don't get hit very often. Oh, the Bloody Mary is getting absolutely torn apart this time, already down to 80%. Getting absolutely ripped to shreds. Oh, it looks like there may have been a uh, an advanced cannon detonation there in the front portion of the hull. There's just a big hole in the deck of the ship. It may be, no, it's not 80% sinking. It's uh, managing to stay afloat so far. There is just a huge hole where there used to be ship. Oh man, the Sentinel is getting uh shot up pretty bad too. It looks like it is losing altitude. I think its main rotor got damaged there. Now it's plummeting from the skies. It's not able to stand up to all the Sabo. submarine and it got killed last episode without me seeing how I mean obviously it's just getting it's getting shot with high velocity Sabo firing at a downward angle like that it's not very surprising that the shells were able to hit it I think the Bloody Mary may be uh... no not despawning yet but very close, won't be very long. This battle is going even faster than the first one, it seems. Yep, the Bloody Mary should be despawning now from two damage. Yep, there it goes. And the Tide Hunter is apparently over there. I didn't. I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it. And it is below 80% in sinking. And the Sentinel is uh, down in the water, badly damaged, but not dead yet.
don't think it'll be too long though. Once the Tide Hunter finishes despawning and the full fury of the Argonauts is directed at the Sentinel here, it won't last long. Well, the Hylus is getting a lot of penalty time. Not sure why, not sure what it's doing. But it is not playing by the rules, whatever it is. But honestly, it, it, at this point, it, it really doesn't matter. Yep, that is going to be it. The Sentinel is too damaged and despawning. So that is the end of this match, more or less. The Argonauts have soundly defeated the Bloody Waters fleet by Cruz. Uh, so my condolences there, Cruz. But uh, thankfully, your journey isn't over yet. Uh, you're going down to the secondary bracket. You're going to be facing, um, shoot, I said it earlier in the video, but I'd gone and forgot what it is. Uh, oh, yeah, Fleet Obscure is by Obscure. And see if you can continue on towards the, uh, getting back up towards the, the primary bracket here. But congratulations are due to the Argonauts by Nobodix. You're moving on to round four of the primary bracket, uh, where you'll be facing either the Fleet of the North Star by Thompson or Fire and Brimstone by the Jimmer, depending on who wins in their match. So yeah, congratulations again, Nobodix. I uh, got a very strong entry here. I'm, I'm interested to see how the Argonauts do against something like the Biped Brigade or the Fire and Brimstone. Or Spirit of 76 is also another good one. There's there's a lot of really strong entries out there. I'm not entirely sure who's going to win, which is uh, it's how I like it. Tournaments, you know, just a little over halfway done. We shouldn't have a clear winner yet. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.